What's up, this is Ray from Teenage Bottle Rocket and you're watching Pure Green Audio. Ooh, probably Houston the other day. Just it was a million degrees outside and everyone looked like they're about to die. Um, this place in Houma, Louisiana. It's kind of cool because there's a bayou there and there's an alligator in the back. But uh, besides that, it's a terrible place. Don't go there. Mm. Well, there was one warp tour where we did Portland, Oregon to St. Louis. That was crazy. It took a couple days to get there. And also, we started a tour with the Mighty Mighty Bostons in Boston once, and we just booked it from Laramie, Wyoming, all the way across the country to get to Boston. We had this pizza in Denmark, in Copenhagen, Denmark, that was just terrible. It was like pieces of bologna on it, and it was awful. We were in Pittsburgh, I think, on Warp Tour in 2014, and it just started raining like crazy rain. We just sort of embraced it and started headbanging harder, and we're just soaked in rain, and Kevin Lyman was watching the whole time, just like, uh, he's gonna pull the plug as soon as the lightning hit, but it never did, just huge gobs of rain, and that was the craziest weather. Venue lighting, hmm, well, um, we've definitely played a couple times where the lights just weren't working at all, so it was just black. <laughs> Ooh, man, we stayed next to the strip club in London, Ontario, and um, everybody got bed bugs. Gnarly. I'm not sure what the name of the place was, but... Being electrocuted. Just the amps not being grounded properly and going up to seeing and then all of a sudden you get a big jolt of electricity. Any port of potty on Warp Tour. Dude-ish. Uh, we went on tour with this band called Volbeat in Germany and in Denmark. We were playing these huge crowds, sometimes 10,000 people, 16,000 people, and uh, just going out and playing in front of such huge audiences that have no idea who your band is was uh, intimidating and definitely made me nervous. Still, just stole it. <laughs> Nothing outside of typical punishment, just you give yourself a number to the wrong person and all of a sudden it's just like, okay, this person's texting me 10 times a day and I don't even remember who this person was. Nothing that I can remember as far as legit stalker stuff. Probably me. <laughs> I carry around a bad attitude and I should be a lot more positive. I'm, I'm working on that.